There's a new push to phase out oil and gas production in California altogether. New at 6, John Ramos tells us the mayor of the oil refining city of Benicia is helping to lead that charge. People can debate the role fossil fuels play in global warming, but there's no doubt it's heating up the political climate. I'm asking Governor Brown and the legislature to do the right thing and phase out gas and oil production in California. Benicia Mayor Elizabeth Patterson joined several others in Sacramento today to speak out against the very existence of the fossil fuel industry. We see our addiction to fossil fuels encouraged, promoted, and hyped by the industry. Instead of paying the fossil fuel drug lord, let's pay for rehab. She'd like to see a complete end to oil production in the state, even though the Valero oil refinery is the single largest business in the small town she represents. Leo Giacomelli lives in a neighborhood overlooking the refinery. Do you consider this a serious proposal? No, not at all. I think it's just something that uh, the mayor thinks that she needs to do. I, I don't know which, what her criteria is. Um, some of the things that she says is... Um, in town, longtime Venetian Lee Saltness believes it would be an uphill battle, but he supports the mayor's plan and doesn't pull any punches about it. Oil, petroleum, it's evil in the long run. We all know that. So, yeah, we can call it evil. If oil stops, the economy stops. It, it just look at the big picture, and unfortunately, some people just can't see that far in the future. It's a debate that has gotten hotter as politics become more polarized. So the question is, do proposals like the mayor's shed light on the issue or simply throw fuel onto the fire? In Benicia, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The Benicia mayor is part of a group called Elected Officials to Protect California. Now, they did not outline any time frame for when they want California to use 100% renewable energy.